So welcome back to another FIFA 19 career mode video. I just got a few different things I want to show you regarding the game mode. I've got some more news for you and I've also got some more budgets to take a look at as well. Make sure you share this video with a friend who's playing career mode as well. Let's get to 500 likes and if you're new around here and you want to see all the latest FIFA 19 information, tap the subscribe button today and the notification bell and you won't miss anything. The first bit of career mode news I'm going to be talking about today is a tweet from the Master Bucks, who is a big career mode YouTuber. And he was there at the capture event and he tweets out yesterday and says only four save slots for FIFA 19 career mode confirmed. Now, we're not sure if they're going to change this or not, but if there's only four save slots, this is pretty concerning considering like I think we have eight at the moment in FIFA 18. So even eight is a bit limited as well. So four is just going to be very, very limited. So it means we're probably going to have to delete some saves and stuff, which I don't really want to do. I like to have more save slots open. Uh, this is not very good news. Hopefully they do fix it, but um, so far it's limited to four. During some career mode live streams the other day, there were people showing off the Chinese Super League, and we can see Alexandra Pato and Hulk return now, and Pato is using the same face from previous FIFA, so there's no new face for this guy, unfortunately. He's 28 years old now. I think he's rated about 80. And then we have Hulk, who is uh, still using the same face as well back from FIFA 16. So I've put their image there so you can get a clearer look. And yeah, he's about 31 years old now and he's rated 81. So even though these guys weren't updated, I do think we're going to see some Chinese Super League new faces for other players. I just wish they would have upgraded these guys as well. So I finally get to bring you some in-game screenshots of the Molyneux Stadium, which belongs to Wolves. This is a new stadium coming to FIFA 19. And that means if you're playing a career mode with Wolves, you get to use their stadium. And if you're playing against Wolves in a Premier League career mode or something like that, you get to verse them as well in that stadium. So because PES 19 does have the Veltons Arena in the game, a lot of people thought that EA lost the rights to use this stadium in their game. But as you can see from one of the capture events, there is the Veltons Arena in FIFA 19. And uh, so that's going to be in the game. No need to worry about that. If you're doing a Bundesliga career mode, the stadium is going to be there. So Matt Pryor, who is like a FIFA 19 producer, did an interview with one of these companies. I don't know, but they did an article and they decided to ask him about career mode. And I don't know why they do these career mode interviews because they just keep shooting themselves in the foot. It's getting embarrassing now. Now, this article was translated to English and it might look a little bit funny as we read it. But basically, as they were interviewing him, they wrote down their observations and summed up what he said to them. And uh, Matt Pryor said, The career mode does not reach enough people from EA's point of view, and therefore does not come on the agenda. Which basically means it doesn't make enough money for us to even consider making changes to it. So basically, their focus is FIFA Ultimate Team, which we already know anyway. And then the people that wrote the article says it seems weak in the recent success story of more players than ever before basically what they mean is that there was like some news that career mode is having more players than ever before um, i don't know where they got that from but apparently that's the latest news regarding that according to prior the biggest innovation will make the career mode even more authentic and he said one major innovation is the implementation of the champions league making it the most authentic career mode we've ever had and not just the champions league but also the europa league and super cup so they're going back to that agenda of uh, the licenses matter this year, and that's what they've uh, done as the biggest changes to career mode. So we all know that by now, but I don't know why they keep doing these interviews trying to reinforce this point, because people don't, they, they, they're not buying it, you know. Uh, they just keep shooting themselves in the foot. I don't know what they're trying to do with these interviews, man, because it's not working. But anyway, we move on to some transfer budgets. If you're not interested in the transfer budgets, then make sure you watch yesterday's video. I showed off some new things I haven't shown before in FIFA career mode. So it was a good video. I, I think you guys enjoyed it. So thank you very much for the support on that one. Make sure you click the card if you haven't seen it. It'll take you straight there.
So those were all the FIFA 19 career mode budgets in this episode. If you want to see part one where I showed off all the Premier League ones, use the card right now. That'll take you to that video. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can do so at Vapex Karma. And if you want to watch another FIFA 19 video, tap the thumbnail on your screen right now. If you want to subscribe to the channel, tap the VK icon underneath the thumbnail. And I'll see you next time.